Maybe your schedule looks like this, with all the links between the tasks and all resource names. For me, it's often useful to simplify the diagram, to show the end dates and color code the bars according to the stakeholders. The realization is really simple. This is Christian from Vision 6D. I bring my expertise in project management to level up your skills and assist companies. The first thing I'm going to remove are the links between tasks. For this, I'm going into the Gantt chart part, right clicking on it, and then I select layout. You see that we have several possibilities here, among which one is without any links. So this is what I'm going to choose. And you see that all links on the diagram were removed. Then I delete the name of the resources in the Gantt chart diagram. I right click and you see that we can select the bar style. In the lower part, I see that I can change the style of the bar and of the text. I'm interested in the text. Depending on the position around the bar, we can choose the information to be displayed. For the moment, it is the name of the resources. I will replace it by the finish date. You can immediately see that each bar is completed by the end date. We still have the summary task bars. For this, I go back to the style of the bars. I will choose the summary task bars. You just must change the color of the bars to white to not see them anymore. The next element I want to format are the milestones. For this, I go back to the bar style. I select the shape of the milestone and I will change here the color to red. With that, we have the two milestones that have had the color changed to red. What I'm doing now is assigning different colors to the different trades. As far as the site installation is concerned, I select the bar here, I will format it with the color here in the middle and I choose a light yellow for this. I say OK and we see that the color has changed. For the earth work, I will select a color which is slightly more brown. For the foundations, I will choose a yellow color. For the elevations, I will choose gray. For the facade, I've chosen green. For the paint, I want to have a color that is not directly in the default colors. For this, I go down into more colors and I take a very light purple. And I will do the same now for carpentry and also choose another color. We have now a simplified Gantt chart that has the information necessary depending on the audience we are addressing. I'm Christian from Vision 6D and it's a pleasure to see you in the next module. Bye-bye.